with so many boards, they were able to actually provide for so many surfers there that now these boards are making their way up both coasts of Africa. And uh, the good vibe is spreading. And it really, I, I cannot recommend that film enough. And it's really cool to see because, you know, you, you can really point to the Brazilian storm, the rise of the Brazilian strong stronghold in championship tour caliber surfing. But now we're starting to see it come from places like Japan, South Africa, you know, Latin America as well, Portugal with Vasco Hibeta in this heat. Uh, it's only a matter of time to where, you know, this field is really just evened out in terms of numbers. You know, Benji Brand from right here in Haleiwa. You know, Benji Brand is a kid that, you know, he could continue right on with that tradition. Uh, really, I think his home is in the tube and up in the lip on his backhand because he makes it look so easy. And apparently, consistently at 12 o'clock, this guy is just hitting the lip vertical, whether it's Hollywood or Sunset, he's doing this right here. Bango, uh, just really nice torque too. You, you've seen surfers, and today it's happened multiple times where a guy just gets in the cycle and he's making his own luck, getting himself right back in the spot and somehow priorities right there with him. Uh, we'll see. Uh, yet, yet in this heat, it's looking like Benji Brand is in the cycle, but Vasco Rivero is going to try to switch that around. And unfortunately for Vasco, looked like he could have had a line into that wave, but it had different ideas. Did not let him back on the open face. He had to jump off his board. Now he'll be back at the end of the priority list. That beach is a classic deep water wave. You know, you're subjected to really putting an emphasis on catching quality waves. It's easy to catch a crummy wave. You, know, you really have to kind of have hyper focus on a good one. And you gotta have a lot of strength as we see right there from Billy Kemper, unaffected with a massive onslaught of whitewater breaking on his back and somehow he just stands right up and tears this wave to pieces. But his final maneuver gets away from him. Maybe just asking for a little bit too much Gonna compare that to uh, picking up a bat in Little League, you know, swinging the weighted bat and then going to your normal bat. Things can feel different, but here you see maybe uh, that effect felt on this wave. Yeah, it's it's gonna feel sensitive, you know, and really, really responsive. Yeah, like Kennelly battling her way to a big wave world title. Yeah, I mean, they should rename that contest the Jaws Send It Invitational because <laughs> he just, oh my gosh, just. Uh, it's good to see him in, a, in the right zone. As we see, here he is, young Jake Marshall from California. That was a nice turn and another smooth carve. You can see he's just a young kid, but uh, he's already got a knack. Uh, it's just brilliant surfing from Billy. Well, and this is live. So we're looking at uh, Billy Kemper in the lineup trying to keep up with the pace that he set himself on day one. And it was really cool to see him come in from that heat you can tell he's found his calling. It's what it is. You know, he, he's in the right spot. It's where he should be in life, competing out here, uh, you know, smoking fools. Let's see if uh, he was getting any word there from Galley. And here we go, live, Benji Brown. Well, this is going to be uh, tough to watch for Jake Marshall as Benji Brand goes upside down and into oblivion. Oh, but if you could have just had a freeze frame of that turn, Good call. It would have been a savage thing of beauty. A beach that's really far out to sea. It's uh, a lot of times you have no idea what's going on. So just relaying the information and then uh, making sure they're really good and comfortable and familiar with their strategy. He's in a good spot. He's got second priority. But at any second, Benji Brand can unleash one of these big backside turns and flip the script. But for the second wave in a row, Benji goes down in his second effort. Well, I like what I'm seeing in terms of equipment. Benji's surfboards have been on point this entire Triple Crown. Uh, he's just surfing what the way he wants to. Uh, that right there was just pure unluck. Chris, who's Jake's caddy, he would be uh, at least 100 yards away from him. Benji Brand now hunting on the inside section. He needs a five, six, eight. Quick turn, he's out. Here we go. Jake Marshall representing Encinitas, California. Nice roll in drop, straight off the bottom, right up into the lip. Nice layback snap. Well controlled, second turn for Marshall. Again, goes for the third, but goes down. I wanna say he really needed that third turn. And this could be disaster as well, because Vasco need needed a 2-1-7 and he goes down. Wow, who's got the voodoo dolls? Easily been the scores for both those guys. Benji Brand here hoping to close the door on 
Vasco Gibetto and Jake Marshall. But now it's up to the judges. What do you do with Jake Marshall's wave? It was a beautiful looking wave section. But well, here's the clear winner of this heat in absolute control. And didn't need any kind of miraculous, magical waves in that heat. Just made whatever wave came to him work. Billy Kemper grinding through the 6-4 and a 4-7-7. Seven, seven. And the score comes through. We'll see the reaction from Jake Marshall and Vasco Hibeto. Narrowly missing relief being dropped into third place. A heavy moment for Jake Marshall.